Welcome to CBS This Morning. A second prison guard faces charges this morning of helping two murderers escape. Gene Palmer is accused of delivering tools to David Sweat and Richard Matt. Searchers in northern New York believe this morning that the fugitives may have a shotgun. Palmer will likely plead not guilty at his arraignment today. His lawyer says fellow suspect Joyce Tilly Mitchell took advantage of him. Anna Werner is at the courthouse in Plattsburgh, New York, where Palmer will appear this afternoon. Anna, good morning. What another twist. Yeah, good morning, Nora. And, you know, Gene Palmer has worked at the Clinton Correctional Facility for 27 years. Now, last week during this investigation, he was suspended and put on paid leave. Last night, he was arrested. Gene Palmer is charged with destroying evidence, promoting dangerous prison contraband, and official misconduct. Mr. Palmer is a man of integrity. He knows that he made a mistake. Andrew Brockway is Palmer's attorney. Mr. Palmer did not know that Joyce Mitchell had conned him into giving contraband to these two individuals. District Attorney Andrew Wiley says civilian employee Joyce Mitchell admitted smuggling tools into the prison. She put the hacksaw blades, put the other um, screwdriver bits um, in the hamburger, froze it, and then brought it into the facility. The correction officer, Gene Palmer, came, collected it, and then brought it to Matt. And you believe he did so unwittingly? Yes, without knowing that the tools were inside the meat. Palmer is also alleged to have escorted the inmates out onto a catwalk behind their adjoining cells to fix electrical breakers so they could use hot plates. Now, 19 days later, more than a thousand heavily armed law enforcement officers are concentrating their search on a rugged 75 square mile section of Franklin County. State Police Major Charles Guess. We have uh, virtually 100 percent assurance that they were in that area. Police say DNA evidence linked the convicts to that cabin some 20 miles west of the prison. Investigators tell CBS News they now believe the fugitives may have taken a shotgun from the cabin. Just about every cabin or outbuilding in the North Country has one or more shotguns or weapons. And we have since day one operated under the belief that these men are armed. They're extremely dangerous. They're cunning. Why wouldn't they try to arm themselves immediately upon escape? Well, Gene Palmer was released from jail earlier this morning. Now, if he's convicted on that felony charge of promoting prison contraband, he could face up to seven years in prison, as could Joyce Mitchell, who faces the same charge. All right, Anna, thank you.